So, you wish you had a workflow to clean up your motion capture animations. Not a problem. I am going to assume that you have set up your IK rig to work with Rokoko like we did in the last few videos. If you've done that, once you have inputted the FBX to a Blender file, under Files, go to Actions, give it a name, and save the whole thing to your desktop. Then open up your character rig file, and in Object Mode, click on the Rokoko skeleton, go to File, Append, and click on the Blender file on your desktop. Actions, and the animation. And if you go to the dope sheet, you should be able to find your animation there. Okay, so here is the super secret pay to win rule for quickly cleaning up mocap. Before you fix anything, you gotta key everything that's not broken. Otherwise, if you fix something up here, it's gonna mess things up down there. If we scrub through the timeline, we can see that the feet sometimes leave the ground. To fix this, click whatever controller bone you have that controls the rig's elevation and keyframe the areas that look good right before the areas that look bad. For example, the feet are totally floating off the ground here. So I'm gonna keep going backwards until I find a point where they are correct. And press I to key location and rotation. Because again, when we change things, we don't wanna lose the areas that were correct. So every time you see something wrong, go back until you see something right and key it. Once you have keyed everything that's good, then you can start fixing everything that's bad. So now we just go back to the areas we didn't like and move it in place like so. And bam, awesome. Now that we've fixed the foundation, we can start to fix the details. And we're gonna use the exact same principle. Select all your animation bones, scrub through the animation, and key the main poses of the animation. Not every little detail, just the main poses. And what this does is protect the most important parts of the animation from anything we might mess up trying to clean. Now you can go through and make your adjustments. The first thing that I would probably do is use my hand pose libraries to fix the fingers. Because no matter how much cleanup you do, the animation will always look like shit until you fix the hands. Once you've gotten to this point, it's completely subjective. If if something bothers you, you can change it, but it's up to you. Obviously, things that you should fix are when the arms are going through the body, or if you see some really weird joint bending rotations. But for example, around here, you could decide to exaggerate the hip swinging by making it a little more here and a little more there. Maybe you could give the final pose a little more gravity and plant her legs with a little bit more confidence. Maybe on this frame, you don't want her looking up at the sky. It's really just whatever you feel is gonna make the animation look better. And that's it. If you like what you see, you're done. And this concludes the advanced motion capture tutorial series. When the patrons and I have saved up enough money for facial mocap and the gloves, we'll definitely be continuing this series where we left off, but I really hope that you guys learned something and had fun. It was my absolute pleasure to be your guide through this crazy world of motion capture. If I did my job right, hopefully it's a little bit less scary than it used to be. And we will now be making our way to the final Blender fundamental tutorial series of modeling. Hope you look forward to it. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and now. See you around.